Hello there and welcome to my channel. My name is Douglas and I'm back with another exquisite fountain pen pairing episode. And thank you in advance for liking and subscribing to my channel. Your support shows you have excellent taste. Well, thanks. And also welcome to a very special episode, which is Doug's Perfect Pen Pairings, Episode 4. And this is where I share the most perfect pen and ink pairings for the discerning fountain pen aficionado. Some of you experienced accidental spillage and sprayage of beverages during last week's introduction. I do apologize for not warning you not to ink or drink anything while I'm speaking, as beverages may be spewed onto ball gowns or tuxedos, and foodstuffs may be expelled at velocities which might damage electronic device screens. So please, no cheese sandwiches, as Sister Annunciato has passed on. Class Clown used to save his best stuff for lunchtime when you were drinking your milk. And he'd try to make the milk come out your nose. Huh? One time, Michael Davy passed an entire cheese sandwich through his nose. Huh? Sister Annunciato thought it was a miracle, you know? Come with me, mister. And don't talk to the other boys and girls. You know, you're not allowed to talk to anyone right after a miracle, you know? You have to wait and be debriefed by a priest, right? I have given some of you permission to watch naked, but I must warn you of two things. No hot coffee or tea, and ensure your device's camera is covered. Some things can't be unseen. Today I have another fine selection of pairings for those of refined taste and sensibilities. I have two inks from a Roshizuku, my first and my last. Not that I won't get more, just the last one I bought. I have an ink from Robert Oster of Australia and one from Polish inkmeister Konrad Zerwaski of KWZ Inks. First, let's travel to Australia and visit Robert Oster. I got a Drew P. Wiener here. Anyone expecting a Drew P. Wiener? I hold in my hand a Drew P. Wiener. Better put it down then, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Oster has an incredible variety of inks. I have a few bottles of Robert Oster. The bottles are made of plastic to keep the cost down, but they're tall and tippy. The easy solution is just to slip your bottle into an Ink Buddy Cozy. They fit like a glove, almost like I designed them that way. This will keep you from getting your fire and ice all over your crotch while you're filling your pen. Gives blue balls a whole new meaning, right? Ah. 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 But the Robert Ulster we're going to look at today is an intriguing color called Copper Jelly. And unfortunately, I only have a sample vial. Of course, sample vials are notoriously difficult to use without accidents. So once again, just slip your vial into an ink buddy sized for ink vials and no more bloody Brexit crotch. Does Brexit make my passport expire? No, but it does mean that you are entitled to a beautiful new blue passport. And with this smoky pink ink, I finally found an ink to match a pen that's very difficult to ink match. You'll see that in a moment. Next, we look at my very first Roshizuku ink in the amazingly elegant glass bottle. This is Asagao, which is Japanese for morning glory. This is a royal blue ink that leans towards purple with its subtle reddish coppery sheen. I've used this ink in many pens. It is a well-behaved wet ink that has great shading. And I tried three or four different inks in the pen I'm matching it with until I finally went with Asagao and the pen will never have another ink as it is just a perfect marriage. And you know what they say? Two can keep a secret if one of them is dead. 
And now we go to a very dark and rich blue ink that I absolutely adore. I've purchased a second bottle of this ink as my wife likes it too, and we're going through it faster than Shiraz. Penny? <laughs> Penny, we're out of wine. You should probably dry. <laughs> This is KWZ Azure number five. I don't know about the other Azures, one through four, but five is a stunning blue. The first time I used this ink, I kept thinking I was getting notes of chocolate, but I was mistaken. It was vanilla. This ink not only fills your visual senses with marvelous shades of Azure blue, it fills your nostrils with a heavenly aroma of vanilla. I understand all KWZ inks smell like vanilla, to one extent or another. And like my Asagao match, my Azure number no. 5 matching pen will never get another ink but this. Wait and see if I'm right. And finally, another Eroshizuku ink. This one I purposely bought when I bought the matching pen. This is Eroshizuku Shinkai. This isn't an exact match for the pen, but there are so many swirling colors in this new fountain pen, it hardly matters. I asked my brick and mortar pen store expert about Shinkai, as I'm not typically fond of blue blacks, but I was keen to try the Roshizuku version. I didn't want an ink that was dull. She assured me that this ink is far from dull. And the matching pen hasn't been reviewed or inked up until right now. <laughs> Welcome to episode four of Doug's Perfect Pen Pairings. Please feel free to add your comments below regarding these ink and pen combinations. What are some of your perfect pairings? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. So let's get started with the pairings. Here's the first combination. The Pen BBS 355 Bulk Filler in the Yangao and Robert Oster Copper Jelly. This is one of the most highly sought after finishes from Pen BBS. Niango is the name given to the Chinese New Year's cake and a real treat for the Chinese on that holiday. This was a very difficult finish to ink match until I received this sample of Robert Oster Copper Jelly. And this ink is the perfect match. The color is like a smoky pink. I have to find a bottle of this really soon. Next up is my holy grail of fountain pens, the Pelican M800 in black and blue stripes. I've been through three different inks with this pen, and this Eroshizuku Asagao is now the permanent ink pairing for my best fountain pen. The Asagao is the first expensive fountain pen ink I've ever bought, and it's fitting that it matches perfectly with my most expensive fountain pen. Asagao means morning glory. In Japanese and this is certainly a glorious combination and on to my most beautiful galaxy pen the Leonardo Forore Galaxy and KWZ Azure number no. 5 as I mentioned in the introduction this ink is not only deep and rich and gorgeous for the eyes it is a joy to write with and it is like you're eating vanilla ice cream while you write your nostrils fill with that lovely aroma and makes writing with this ink addictive. It's double the addiction with this incredibly gorgeous Furore. The camera just doesn't do justice to this resin, and I find myself staring deep into this galaxy and sniffing the nib like a lunatic. And finally, my newest Orochizuku ink and my brand new Narwhal Schoolkill Porpita. I haven't inked this pen up until just now, and I bought this Shinkai specifically for this pen. It is a piston filler from a Taiwanese brand that is totally new to me. I will write with this pen for a while and you'll see the review soon. But these are the first strokes with this new pen right here. And there you have it. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. And don't forget to ring that bell to get instant notifications whenever a new video is posted. And that just leaves it for me to say, Thank you for watching. And that's all she wrote. I made this.